What's going on, everybody? Excuse the mess in front of me because I'm getting stuff ready for auction on Friday and getting stuff shipped out, moved around to clean stuff. But I was just sitting there taking a minute while I get some uh, lunch and I was reading through some blowout form forums and wow, they really just amazed me with the in depth, like discovering and finding all this cards and frauds and everything else going on and today again it's going to be somebody that's grading with PSA and this is stuff that's really recent this started uh, March 22nd uh, the forum onto it or the post and this guy here just keeps changing his name around onto uh, eBay so I'm going to show you guys bits and pieces of this I'm going to link thread in the description section so make sure you guys click on it. You'll get more of an update to be able to read through this. But just, wow. You know, there's just so much of this going on. And I'm just not too sure how PSA's not catching this stuff. Whether it's minute trims that they're not able to catch because of how they're um, cutting it off. You know, the cards just so lightly. I don't know if Genement is going to be able to catch this stuff with, you know, the correct sizing, the cards and stuff. It, it, it's just crazy. This is why for the longest time I've only been buying from people that I know the card being graded was graded by them. So I could feel comfortable in selling it to somebody else down the road. And plus, I know these people aren't trimming their own cards, too. But let me pull this up. Like I said... Link is going to be in the description. This is a long thread. It's like 15 pages long. Same, same. All right. Boom. Here we go, guys. So, this guy here has been doing updating. It, this guy keeps changing his eBay ID. So, it was originally like Liebersher to SWF cards. Then again, changed it again to cards and stuff one. And now it's over here to 239 cards. So, Huge thing. So I'm going to just try to get to it. He is exposed who the guy is, where he's from, and all that stuff. And, you know, you can take it as a grain of salt, you know, if you're going to buy into these guys discovering this stuff or not and who they all are. Uh, this stuff's just amazing across the board. If people are able to go out there and do this for the hobby, and it's information needs to get out everywhere. So I can't take credit to this, but I'm going to link you guys to where it's at. It, this here talks about, but basically this guy's buying raw cards, uh, you know, in bulk and stuff. And then he's grading it with PSA, and they're coming back, and this is all newer stuff. I mean, when you go through here and just look at, like, buying this Tony Perez, he bought it raw, and then look, all of a sudden there's a PSA 10 out there. It talks about each thing where he bought it raw for $63. And then PSA tend it for this on this amount. And I've been shocked by it because you're like, well, how do you know it's the same card? Again, this is where they're showing the difference in the trim. But there's identifying features in the back of this card that pin it to it. It's just not one or two. This here has six. So when you start doing stuff like this, and you can look, he bought this card at, for $5.85 raw here, sold it here. And it, it's just going back in time. These guys are catching this stuff. And it's just amazing. So be on the careful, or be on the careful, <laughs> be on the lookout and be careful. There we go. Until it's Sunday. Go Luca. Luca Magic today. Come on, Luca Magic. But uh, uh, just look at this stuff. I mean, there's just so many cards out there where they're showing these defects onto it, the trims onto it, the backs with different points onto the card that just are not going to be on every single card. Take a look at this, guys. I mean, there's just so much onto it. And it's not high-end cards. They're, you know, base cards. or Not base, but, you know, they're um, just regular cards. That I call them base cards for back in the but I guess they're like minor stars or how it's being worded nowadays. But you go down, he's like, oh, we're not done yet. Let's go on to some more stuff. As people are commenting, like, holy cow, look at all this. And he goes into detail when the guy bought the card, when it was graded. 
it, or after it was graded and sold by the same person, guys, be on the lookout for this. Do not get caught up on it, especially if you're in the PA set registry stuff. You know, if it doesn't look right, doesn't sound right, see some spacing onto it, I guess. When you look at this stuff, stay away. And I guess he's really big in the PSA registry, too, onto it. So, man, just the stuff going on. I'm just wondering, you know, if the right people are sending this stuff out to the authorities to catch these guys. I know a lot of it has been pushed up. This is something new. I mean, just look at this. You guys, when you go through this, if you got about a half hour to 45 minutes to really read through this whole thing, maybe even up to an hour, it's insane. Completely insane. I wanted to bring this to everybody's attention. There's just way so much going on in this thread to go over. But the gifs of it is this guy keeps changing his ID. He's bought a whole ton of stuff raw. He's graded it. And now, look at this. This one here. Bought the card December 2019. And guess what? Got a 9 on it. Look where it's sold. Now, granted, I think he starts... Oh, there it is. The value of the gain in profit, $206, basically, onto it. Granted, you had a little grading fee onto it and stuff like that. They're everywhere. Wow. You know, it really makes the one that, you know, to just start working with a tight group of people that don't do this stuff and stay away from eBay and all this anymore. Just in shock over it all. But I wanted to give this quick video out to everybody because I've been sitting here looking over this and it's just been immense since this started. Uh, like I said, link in the description. Check it out. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you always hit that subscribe button because as I see this stuff and been reading through it, I'm going to post videos out to give credit to these people that are doing this out there. And for you to see it, just so you don't get caught up in this and spend money on this stuff that's been altered and then somewhere down the way somebody calls you out and like, well, I bought it this way. I didn't know. You know, it, it's going to happen out there to people and they're just going to be like, man, I bought this and now I just wasted this money on it. It's been trimmed. What do I do? You know, you're just, you're out of the money. I mean, then you're wrong if you get rid of it to somebody else. And I know previously PSA has bought these, some of these things back that they've uncovered like the Soto 101 and different other cards. And I, from my understanding with the Soto, just because of, you know, people I know knew the person that did this, you know, he did get pretty fair value out of it from PSA overall. So it's good that they do that, but it's bad that they're not catching this stuff. And I just don't understand that if it's just maybe such minute trimming that they're not able to catch it when they're measuring the card up. But you can tell it in the case is the thing onto it. And I don't know if Genement's going to be able to catch this stuff or not. I'm not really into all that computer software stuff. Eric, if you're watching the video, um, let me know. Some You have the software out there. And with this minute trimming, are you able to catch it if it's even like a millimeter off? I think the millimeter is the smallest piece onto it, or like two millimeters, three. And it doesn't add up right to the actual specs. What What's the answer to that? I, I mean, if it's a long answer and you want to just give me a video on to the response, because I know people are going to want to know this, feel free to do it. Just put it, you know, hit me up, say, hey, I'm going to do a video to talk about this. So well, this could be rest in mind if people are sending in trim cards to us, you know, even if it's by a millimeter, two millimeter, whatever the smallest amount is there to get that off. I'm guessing that might be a millimeter, two millimeters when I'm looking at this here with that whiteness on the bottom of the corner as far as it's blown up. But how are you able to detect that overall? Because we're usually just, you know, measuring cards out uh, by, you know, the normal specs. I mean, being off a millimeter, two, or three, you know, is that a red flag in a system with a computer or an intelligence? All right. Hopefully you watch this. If not, I'll tell you to watch this video because uh, it's curious towards the end of it all. But check it out, guys, with the, uh, the, the post. Um, really crazy stuff. But I'm out. Go Mavs today. Hopefully Luka pulls off Game 7. We got the fight tonight. If you guys don't know, it's just not J or Jake Paul. Uh, Logan Paul versus uh, Mayweather. You also got Chad Ochocinco fighting tonight, which I had no idea about. I guess it's two fights. So I'm probably going to be uh, watching that a little bit later tonight. All right, everybody. Have a good one. See you all later.